guys, Nine Gaming here, and welcome to the Battle Replay and Total War Warhammer. Guess who's here? Red Games. Okay. No. Right. So uh, I played this battle. Leon played the next one. So basically, I'm gonna go over the army comps real quick. So I bought the best thing that Bretonia can bring is this big air force right here, which is two Pegasus knights, two pa mounted paladins on Royal Pegasus, and King Leon Kerr on his Banquist. It's me. <laughs> Not you. And I have spear arms uh, mixed with men at arm pole arms, and the pole arms actually did very, very well. Surprisingly, they held their own for quite a while. They quite impressed me actually. I should have brought one of them. Uh, I have three peasant bowmen, which did not amazingly, but were yeah. there. And these guys really were not used to their full potential. You'll see what my big mistake I make at the start he's, of the battle. The big mistake, which I thought I could charge this what, guy. What is that? Do some damage, charge off. But is I, that a werewolf? Uh, it is of. a Vargulf. Uh, I charged him and I didn't disengage because I was microing over here and the blood knights charged in and destroyed me basically oh. and these guys were wasted um my ally is playing as the empire he's bringing spearmen with shields and a front line of just standard swordsmen spear with shield on each flank basically he's bringing two hand gunners and two mortars he's bringing just a uh, to bring carl fronds just no mount just on his own on the ground and he has uh, four great swords at the back which is pretty prominent infantry force that's so really good the vampires. For cavalry, they're bringing two blood knights, which are very, very good. He's bringing. Excuse me. Do you mind? Do you fucking mind? <laughs> He's bringing two grave god with great weapons and a massive line of zombies. What were who made all the zombies? Yeah, they're the zombies. They're really bad. But Why the, 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 there's a lot of them. Why the hell do they bring so many? They really did nothing. He is bringing oh some crypt God. horrors and a Vargulf. He's bringing uh, Mumford von Karstein and his zombie dragon. And he's bringing a wizard on a just a hell steed. Which is pretty interesting. And these blood, blood, um, blood knights will become very, very useful. And um, they have not been nerfed yet. So they're very, very strong. Let's have a look at one. Oh shit, where am I going? Oh yeah. So let's have a look at her face. Whoa. Right, cool. that's gonna be my thumbnail. Thumbnail. <laughs> so, uh. Um, so, do you wanna get into the battle? Basically, just gonna go over this one more army. So, on each flank, there is a Demigift Knight and a Rout Guard, I think. Or is it just that flank? Yeah, it's just this flank. There's a Demigriff Knight and a Ralphgar. Ralphgard. There's two hand gunners and two great cannons. Mm -hmm. And there's a front line of spearmen with shields backed up by two swordsmen. Three swordsmen, one great sword. He is bringing Carl Franz on Deathclaw and a Witch Hunter. Yeah, that's, that's the army comps, guys. So we're going to get into the battle replay. So, as you can see right here with the cavalry, so what I said is I wanted to make a mark with these guys, and my ally was in a very defensive position, but I saw the Empire also brought artillery, which was shelling my position, which was really, really bad. I didn't want them doing too much damage to my infantry, because I did need them, because of how crappy they were. I needed as many man in the unit as I can. So I was kind of thinking of how to attack this army is because I knew well, my rocket just got fired. Oh, Good. a magic spell has just been used on the wizard. Who fired that, that one? I think that came from Carl Franz himself. So what's gonna happen right now is I'm gonna move up my uh, knights of the realm and I'm gonna put in front of them. I'm gonna support them with a pole uh, with a spearmint shield to support them. And over here, this air force, you will see how prominent they are for the for Bretonia, they are so good. Like, literally, there's nothing really you can bring in the air that can beat the Bretonian uh, air units. They're very, very prominent. So if you watch right here, I'm charging my Bretonian units, going straight for Carl Franz. And what can the Empire person do? What, what actually can he do? He's moving spearmen. 
but actually the battle is going to be in the air. And he is firing with his Witch Hunter, but really, he's not going to do that much damage. He's dropping hold of the line and stuff. But look at this. There's just too many units for Carl Franz to battle. And look at Carl Franz's health. His health literally went from a full health. And look at the health of my general is on full still, and all of my units have took no damage. And literally, Carl Franz is down, basically. He's out of the game. There's nothing Carl Franz can do. And Carl Franz does die over on this flank. So what I didn't watch in the game was my... Uh, allies, so we're gonna check out what's happening over here. See, my cavalry got absolutely wrecked when trying to charge. See, uh, the Blood Knights came in. There's really nothing my units could have done. See, now I'm moving all my infantry into a formation, and I have my bowmen uh, just doing some fire straight into the spear and the shields. But really, these cavalry is now threatening my bow line. So it seems we are winning in this battle. So um, we are being threatened by the uh, with by the cavalry right now. So I'm going to turn my bows and try and get some cheap shots on his blood knights because uh, I don't know how much armor these guys have, but they're pretty decent. And see my ally up here because he has better infantry. He's just charging for a cheap swordsman and, and taking out the zombies, which really have nothing uh, good to do. And over here, I basically pinning the enemy infantry in most spots except from here where he got an outflanking maneuver and this unit was stationary I put them here to basically block this choke point and basically make sure that the no units could get this way but you know they didn't do their job there wasn't just wasn't enough infantry for me uh, I had too much infantry on this flank over here which this infantry is gonna do very well over here we are gonna break through he does have cannons back here still firing, which need to be silenced. Mm -hmm. And over here, I'm going to bring a Naus rear charge in with this pole arm unit. And he's going to reinforce with some more great swords because he knows that I'm going to break through. Right here, I do break through his infantry. And over here, my bows are getting totally wiped out by cavalry. And they are trying to get some last minute shots off, but uh, the Routes Guard and the Blood Knights are not going to allow them to do that. I am trying to support my ally with the boat fight with the bow fight and it's not working and these handgunners are getting nice shots on Von Karstein and actually the uh, player for the vampire is not noticing this and is leaving it his cryptoid really aren't in the fight and they should be what doing something what are they something. doing? these guys should be in the mainline infantry fight where's the uh, big beast that you tried to take down but it failed? And Vargulf is, is over it? here where? oh my god he's taking them all on and over here this flank is really pushing but he is going to send forward two great swords to engage this means that the Vargulf will not get through. These guys are very, very prominent. Very good. See this bright wizard. Oh, missed out this light wizard right here. This light wizard oh, is doing... Connor's team? <laughs> yeah. This light wizard doing some terrible damage to this, uh, oh my God, this vampire over there. That vampire wizard. See over here, my infantry is totally wrecking. And it's really pushing this flank. This is really good. And see right here, this pole arms unit. It's in the thick of it. But they're able to hold out. They've got some spearmen supporting them. But the pole arms are just holding the line. There's really, they're really doing well. Over here, though, this unit is battling out, but he's not going to win that fight. And Carl Franz died there. And look. Oh! Alfred von Karstein is dead. And uh, Carl Franz over here is Has dead. Has Vargo, uh, whose name is still alive? Uh, they've got a Vargo, I don't know. See, Carl Franz is dead over here. He was trying to be supported by the bats. But, um, you know. So, my general has just survived. I am stood right here. He's getting fired by handgunners, and I didn't notice it until the last minute. But he's going to survive. I have some Pegasus Knights still alive. I say, after this, we go check on Vargo. And uh, we are just holding up all this infantry over here, which could be supporting the mainline infantry fight. Which, over here, I am winning. Slightly. Combat is even, but I will win this fight just by numbers. And he does have these cannons over here still firing. Getting some nice shots into my blob. Yeah. Uh, I have two paladins in here doing some good damage. I'm just trying to keep my general away from these handgunners, which are going to open fire once again, which is really bad, but I did notice it early on this time. But uh, my men are starting to rout, which is bad. But over, there is. over here, the Blood Knight... Uh, the Blood Knights are struggling and are crumbling. The Vargulf has died. Oh. And the Blood Knights are getting killed God. by the Great Swords. 
and over here the flank is being wrapped up he's wrapping up the crypt horrors which really were just left too long and they just really couldn't do anything because they were left too late he's trying to clean up the skirmishes over here which kind of works but there's just so many more skirmishes that they can just open fire anyway and this great sword over here is just what the fuck is it even doing I don't know but we are going to get over here where uh, my infantry, more my paladins and stuff are breaking. And over here, my last infantry are still fighting on. These are the same guys, they're still doing some decent damage. There is some littered corpses of the great swords, which is pretty decent. And he is trying to fire his cannon at my general, so I'm going to get my paladin to come over and take care of it. But see, he's reinforcing with all these units because he knows these guys are going to win. He needs to start trying to surround my units, but um, some of my new, some of my units have come back from routing, and I'm gonna get a lovely rear charge right here, which is gonna get hit by uh, my general. is gonna come in and support this fight, and then the demigriffs are gonna come Whoa. through and wipe out my troops. And what were they riding? But right here, the enemy army has a chain route. Their arm, the ally has died, their general is dead, and basically just a chain route started with the enemy empire army. And basically they chain routed. So we're just going to look at the stats, and basically how many kills my team I'll say got. that was a pretty good round. My team, well my army didn't get that many kills, but was quite effective in what it did. Just holding up the empire army, keeping it still for a long time, so that the vampires just basically got destroyed. <laughs> And the Empire couldn't send anything to support. No, we didn't probably get much kills, but we won the battle. We didn't get many kills, yeah, but we were able to rout the enemy army. If you look over here, most of the damage for the Vampire Counts coming from their Grave Guard and their Blood Knights because they basically just did Where's so the, uh, much Valgolf damage. Or the Valgolf got 44 kills, basically nothing. Mm. Uh, my ally getting not a ton of kills, but destroying the army. This guy at the top so left, cheap. he got 52 kills, didn't he? This guy not getting many kills, and this guy getting not many kills either. We all basically just routed our armies. It was a game of routing that round. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe for more, comment down below your thought. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.